Hey, this is Chad Bonger from Ohio University Libraries. Uh, I just want to give you a quick overview of, of an easy way to search Factiva to get some more relevant results to your search. Um, when you get here, the first thing you might think of doing is, let's say you're looking for information about uh, bookstores. Okay, so a, a topic some of my students are working on right now. We just do bookstores the last three months. And we, <clears throat> we go over and run our search. We're going to get, oh... 305 things looks like um, um, and in the publications we get 113 here and basically what it's looking for is the the word uh, bookstores as we see right here okay now we're not going to get all the things that have to do with Barnes and Noble and and borders and things like that so if we want to get that what you might go do is go back and modify your search and I'm actually going to get rid of bookstores because I don't even want to look for that word what I want to do is, let's say I'm doing industry analysis and want to find stuff on the bookstore industry. Well, we could go in here and do bookstore industry, but we're probably going to even get fewer than we got before because it's just looking for that keyword phrase. Rather, we're going to go down under industry, and I'm just going to put in book here because I don't know if they call them bookstores or booksellers. I'm just going to do book. And run my query there, and they call them bookstores. Okay, if you click on the um, I here I'll give you information about what they're talking about. Okay, establish primary engage in retailing new books. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So I'm going to close that and to actually enter that into your search, you just click on the link. So now we got bookstores still staying the last three months. We can go back and run our search. And once it loads, uh, we get um, quite a few more results here. Okay, now we're getting stuff about Barnes and Noble and Borders, <coughs> excuse me, and things like that. Now what you may also want to do is go back and modify your search and give it a region. So I'm going to do region and I'm just going to do United States here. Just to limit it down a little bit. Uh, select United States and run our search again. Now we're uh, got fewer results now. Okay. And what you might also do is go back and modify your search again, and look for things like you know um, phrases like uh, same store sales. Okay, as an idea, um, or maybe revenues, or forecasts, or trends. Okay. So we're basically looking for one of these. Uh, words or groups of words. Run our search there. And so now we're down to a lot fewer. Okay. Barnes and Noble sees same store sales down, shares fall. Okay, so here's where we're getting our, our articles there. So it's a way to to find relevant stuff, more stuff about your topic, limit it down, and then um, you know limit by industry or region to get more relevant stuff. So hopefully this helps you and uh, good luck with your research.